Living under a rock. GPTs are custom versions of ChatGPT that combines instruction, extra knowledge, and capabilities for a specific purpose. So what you're telling me is I can create my own Jarvis. Let's get to it. This is create a GPT. We're going to just create something really quick so I can show you guys how this works. We're going to go ahead and click create a GPT. But once you click it, there are two sides to the screen. There's the GPT builder. This is where you hold the conversation with GPT builder and you tell it what it wants. It says, what would you like to make? On this side is going to preview your GPT. All right, so I put, I would like to make money mindset GPT. Someone that talks to viewers, fears, and desires, unlocking abundance and releasing to receive. Yeah. As you can see, it is building. And essentially it's like using regular chat GPT. It is still conversational. It's giving me the option of mindset mentor for the name of the GPT. You can name it whatever you want. You can have it give you more ideas or you can just choose what it suggested. And as you can see on this side, it's starting to build it out. So unlocking abundance and inspiring growth. And then there's actual questions that people can select getting started with this GPT. So we ended up going with Victor Vision for the name of this GPT. Now it's gonna generate a profile picture. Now again, you can choose this or you can make changes to how should it interact with users? What would you like to be emphasized in the conversation as well as the certain topics or types of advice that should be avoided? What I did was insert a lesson that I have from an old PLR product. I'm gonna have it analyzed. As I'm adding files, it's updating the questions over here. But then there's also the configure box. So this is where you can go in and edit the different things that are a part of your GPT. So the description, inspiring growth. Now these are the custom instructions that it's using to fuel Victor Vision. GPT created these on its own based off of what we talked about in the create session. These are the conversational starters that you see here. You can add more or you can change these. You can update the capabilities. So web browsing, DALI image generation, code interpreter, and you can add actions, additional settings, use conversations data in your GPT to improve our models. So you can check that off if you want. You click add actions. It gives you the ability to allow GPTs to use third party services just in case you needed to retrieve any type of information or take any other actions. Essentially, you can attach this to another API. We're going to go over here and click update. Publish. I'm going to publish to only me right now, but I will share later so you guys can see how it works. So if you see up here, it's right under the default GPT. That's how you build a GPT. Let me know what type of GPT you want to build in the comments, and I will see y'all later. Okay, bye.